Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. I've been getting a lot of requests for do, to do some um, pawn tutorials. So I thought I'd start off with the first tutorial as um, I'm doing a server-side money system. So uh, yeah, let's uh, jump right into it guys. Um, basically, yeah, I want you to open up Porno. We're going to um, go through this step by step. Um, pretty much start a new a new script and you'll be um, presented with this. And what what uh, what we're going to do is we're going to build the code in here, but um, it's going to end up going into your, your game mode. So I need you to put this into your game mode. We, we, we can't run it from a field script because you're going to have to, um, this code is going to have to go at the top of your script. So let's just um, pretty much delete this. So what, what we're going to be left with is just the game mode. Uh, game mode in it because we're, we're only going to need the initiation. We'll leave the exit as well. So follow along and um, yeah get the script to about this stage and this is where we are all right sweet we'll compile that so that should be compiled so I'm going to be leaving the link in the description but um, this is just a block block of code I need you to start with uh, it just just saves me um you know explaining it and that so yeah basically we need this block of code what's happening here is um, um you know if if this function is defined, we're going to undefine the function. Well, it, and this is just elf, else if it isn't defined, it's going to be defined as that. So basically, we're undefining the function and now we're redefining it as uh, give player money ex. Now, this needs this block of code needs to remain at the top of your script. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create a give player money ex player ID amount. Alright, so now we're going to create a new function which we're going to use to to use um, to to get to give our player some money. So basically, I'm going to put stock there so so it compile. Now that should compile. Alright, so basically, this block of code need, needs to remain anywhere. Well, it needs to remain at the top of the script anywhere before this is is given. So what? What's going to happen now? You can have give player money throughout your whole script, right? And all you got to do is add this block of code here, and it would all be changed to this. So you don't have to change your give player money; it's all going to be changed to this. So we're firstly we're going to need we're going to need an an an, an enumerator. So um, uh, enum player data. We'll go like that. Um, God, I think it is. I think it's like this. I forget which way there. And then we'll go player, player money, and then new player data, max players, player money, I mean player data, sorry. Alright, that should be just a warning now, saying it's never used. Alright, so, um, we're going to need on play connect actually, so... So just quickly add that guys on play connect. This is just to oh we're probably not gonna need to actually set the money, but uh we'll we'll do it anyway, so we'll just if they reconnect we set it back to zero just so we're not um you know it's not tripping out. So we can set it back to zero so now their money is going to stay at zero until you physically set it within the script. So we'll leave that like that. Uh, now this is basically going to be as simple as this, guys. So uh, the new money value value is going to be minus or equals the amount. So like that. And now we can just return get player money player ID. Uh, amount. All right, guys. So there it is. So that's basically like hooking um, give player money and uh, redefining it as give player X. So every time your give player money is called, it's going to call this function. And now we know uh, we're saving the player's money to to a value. We we can now run like a, a timer. So what we're going to do is. Uh, now we can run a timer, uh, set timer, I think it's set timer, yeah. Uh, 
so every one second and we want it to continue looping through so let's just call it on player hack money so now we can create a forward definition so let's just go here um, it's just gonna be like that so all right now we've got a timer so every one second now uh, this this callback is going to be called so now we can uh, now we've been this callback which is going to be called every one second now we can check the check if this value has changed right or we can check their money and check if it actually has been changed because um now that they are like if their money changes and it hasn't changed here, this function hasn't been called. So now we'll know if they're cheating. So now for uh, new i equals zero, i is less than max players, i plus plus. Uh, so now that's a for loop. We're going to loop through all the players and uh, What we want to do is we want to loop through just the players that are online and skip any NPCs. You should be doing checks like that in your full loops anyway. So, uh, so now all the players that are online and they're not an NPC, we're gonna um, if get player money. more um, more than that value so what you're gonna have to do is when um, we, we, oh, well well that should still work actually so if they're if they're current money so if they've hacked money and it's more than what this value is they've actually hacked money right so if it's more or it does not equals right if it does not equal that they've hacked money so what we need to do is we need to Not player ID, sorry guys. I, which is the the player ID. So reset the player's money, and then player money. Um, no, no, we we'll reset their money, and then and then we give the player money. All right, so now loops through the players, all the players that are online and not an NPC. If their money that uh, if their money does not equal the saved money, we're going to reset their money and then we're going to give their money for our new function, which is the actual money that they're meant to have. So that that's looking good. And yeah, it's it's a pretty basic system this, but this is technically impossible to hack, guys. So uh, what have we got here? We've got a uh, 14 uh, oh wait see that might have to be done I might have to do this function here no number of arguments do not match the definition 22 uh, get play oh there we go no that's got to be give player money alright so yeah, it's pretty simple these um these little server side scripts, but uh these little server side money system, but yeah, bang, that's just basically rendered um re re rendered your server impossible to hack. So basically, all you got to do is make sure that this um this block of code is basically right under your includes. It's at the top of your script before any give player money is is used and um see th this can be you should be already saving player um um you know player values to an enumerator already so pr practically you just add a a money value and use that and um yeah you, you might already have a one second timer for something else you might already have a second like a, a cheat for the like an anti-cheat check and all you'd have to do is inside the loop just go like this and go look money check and that's that's the only if statement you would need inside your money check and and 
re remember to always reset the data on like on play connect so it doesn't sort of stuff around because if you don't if someone connects and you, like, that their value will be set to the players before so make sure that is always set to to um to, um to zero on on play connect and that looks about it guys there's a there's a very um very simple yet um impossible to hack um server side money system yeah guys what's up i realized when i was watching through i actually done a, a little error here I, we're not actually resetting the players money so that, uh, we're, we're actually we're resetting that player's actual money, but we're not resetting the player's money, um, our data that we're saving, and we're also using uh, give player a uh, give player money ex, which we should not be doing throughout the script at all. Uh, throughout your script, you got you got to be using give player money, and um, yeah, you can't be using give player ex. And basically, basically what's happening here is we're resetting their visual money, but we're doubling up their actual money because if say they got a thousand, and then we give them the the value of a thousand, they're going to end up with uh, two thousand. So what we need to do basically is um, save this to a variable. Uh, we'll go like that. We'll just call it money, and now we can actually reset this to zero because we need to reset that back to zero now we've got the money and then we reset their visual money and then we give them back their old money so what's happening is we're getting them their, their actual money we're resetting the money so it doesn't double up we're resetting their visual money and then we're giving them back their old money and that should compile guys and uh there's the fix uh, let, let me know in the comments guys if you like these tutorials and i can probably get into more in-depth tutorials um and uh, yeah, I'm thinking about maybe doing a part series of uh, how to create your first game mode, uh, which would be like a team deathmatch sort of game mode and that. It'll come with everything, all the basics, you know, um, uh, you know, like um, all the game mode basics, the account system and that and all that. But uh, yeah, let me, know, let me know in the comments, guys, if you want me to continue these tutorials. And uh, I hope you like this video, guys. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace!